come before you before we can get the next thing to ask God. And God said, I'm trying to give you the answer for the, the last thing you asked me about. All right. All right. All right. It is good to know what this. I mean, it even if it means just sitting in the window, sitting uh, in your favorite easy chair. I don't mean to go to sleep. You know, but sometimes we, we get too comfortable and go to sleep. You can have some folks on the floor and say, what you doing? Well, I was laying prostrate for the Lord. Now, you were asleep. You were snoring. Come on, I'm laying for the Lord. Now, you were out. <laughs> Come on. So they're called long prayer, a long time in prayer. And come on, you were asleep too. But I mean, it is good job for us to get before God. And be willing to just wait to see what kind of answer God has to give you. Because I promise you, family, if you would stop and start praying, and then stay before God to hear what God has to say. Yes, yes. You say, well, Pastor, how do I know that it's God? I'm glad you asked. Because what the, the enemy will never give you anything that lies up with the Scripture. All right, all right, all right, all right. But every time God gives you a word, what this, number one, it will lie, there will be a witness in your spirit. All right. But number two, you can go to the Word and find something to put against what you heard in your spirit, and it will line up and confirm what the Holy Spirit has told you. Because when the Holy Spirit speaks to you, His Word is always the confirming factor. But watch this. There will also come a time where the Holy Spirit will speak to you, and you have to know His voice. Pastor, what do you mean? The Bible says, those that, are the, those that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. And hear me, when you and I move to the place where we can hear from God, come on, let's say, hear from God. Hear from God. And hear me, y'all, 
people, God's going to love you regardless. Come on, God's going to love you whether you pray or not. Now, you mean if I don't pray, God will still love me? He loves you now if you haven't prayed. Come on, watch this. If God loved me when I was a sinner and I was not praying, the only time I said God was when I almost got in trouble. Because I want to. Come on. She be at work. I call because I want to. Come 
from being a statistic that when you got before him, he would not condemn you to hell. That's all real love. Come on, somebody. Listen, oftentimes we base love at somebody based on what they can do for us. But listen, God has, listen, if God doesn't give you a new car, a new house, if God never heals your body, if God don't stay cooking them, you ought to love him anyway. Come on. Just by the fact he kept you out of hell fire. Come on, family. Listen, so nothing else. I want to talk to anybody who can rescue me. Anybody or just listen, listen y'all, even in the world system, if you rescue somebody from something that's dangerous, they'll label you a hero. Can anybody trust that Jesus is my real hero? Thank you. 
inspired in you because of your passion and desire to hang out with them. Do not care what time they call you. But God is well. God loves you so much. He don't care when you call him. Come on. You can call him in the morning and evening in the middle of the night. He don't mind. He says, but call me. Come on. He says, just call me. To push the button and say, just call me. Just call me. Just call me. Thank <laughs> you. 
robe and baby shoes. Hey, wait a minute. What he said is, steal away someplace privately. Close the door on your problem, close the door on your pain, and steal away with him. Oh, yeah. Think about this. Has anybody ever decided you were going to pray, and the moment you got on your knees or stood in prayer, the devil told you about 10 other things? Are you praying? Come on, maybe it just means. Come on. The iron is on. You have an iron all week. Something on the stove burning, and you ain't even cook. Come on. Call a friend. You need like friend. He put all this stuff in your mind. Watch this. Because he wants to keep you from praying. Now watch this. If you must labor to pray, watch this. Labor to keep that junk out of your head. Because watch this, y'all. Most of us carry a bag of junk in prayer. This is what the word says. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Before I give God my grocery list, how about tell him first how good he is? Come on. Because what the truth is, you know, you have more good days than bad days, right? Come on, what's that mean? You really have more good days than bad days. But when your bad day is pretty bad, that's when you want to pray, God, please get me out of this. But what this? If I don't thank him for all the good days, I promise you it will usher you into another dimension, even though life still is bad right now. Right. What do you mean? Simply saying this. Watch this. Life can be going rough for you right now. If you would enter into his gates with thanksgiving, thanksgiving gives you a different perspective of the problem. Let's see if I can see it like this. You can be mad at somebody for what, what they, they do to you. If that person comes and starts giving you good accolades, it is hard to remain mad at them after receiving all those good accolades. Right. Let me see if I can say it like this again. Since y'all missed that one. All, all, all the married folks. Listen, there are times where you will get mad at your spouse. Amen. Yeah, you will keep it. I promise you, you will keep it. I promise you. Well, somebody here. She always liked me. I'm, I'm, I'm a good husband. Oh, Amen, girl. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> I see that young old black by, by, by myself. She ain't say, man, she ain't able to handle nothing. I ain't here. Whatever. But what? I appreciate it. Listen to me. But watch this. I don't care how angry she would get at me over what I may have did or, or didn't do. If I would come to her, I'm going to tell her how good she is and how wonderful she is and how I thank her for doing all the things she did for me. I guarantee you all that anger would go out the window. Oh, now she's going to say amen. Please touch your hands for us. Lord, help us, Jesus. Help us, Jesus. I said, point your hands and help us, Jesus. Y'all be hard. Lord, help us, Lord. Oh, you mean I got the to say something? He ain't pointing his hand. <laughs> he wants to take us something. He wants something else. But now about this thing. See, listen, really, if you would spend time in God's presence, man, the devil couldn't do bringing half damage in your life that he wants to if you were on purpose spend time with God. Fuck this. Go to Psalm 91. Because there is a place in God where the devil can't touch you. There is a place in God where you cannot be touched by the enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, if you come to put somebody and say, neighbor, yeah. there is a place in God yeah. where the devil yeah. can't touch you. Yeah. Now, I know M.C. Hamlin said you can't touch this, but there is a place in God where the devil can't touch you. What would it be like that you, when the devil can't touch you? Listen, there is a place in God that's called the high. Somebody say the high.
in your life and because it was your mama's house, you couldn't just go outside and mess with your punishment? But that you have a place in the house that you know mama didn't know about? See, about this. See in, in my house, we had a, 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 a room upstairs called the attic. And my mama would come in the attic, but there was a, a place behind the wall. That my, my mama didn't know. Because over there wasn't no light. Bring your own, your own balloons. <laughs> but see, we knew that mama wasn't coming back there. She was coming up the room, and she, if she was going to get you, she called you, Paul. <laughs> they ain't saying me. I was a good son. Say amen, y'all. No. Say amen, y'all. No.
on the secret of the enemy. Come on, even the devil and those you who are you know are your physical enemies. Watch this. Let me know. In prayer, God will give you spiritual insight. Yes, he will. Come on. Listen, man, I was in town and I was praying and folk was, I mean, Jenny was, I mean, ragging on me. And I literally hear their words. I would come to church and I preach to them and tell them everything is in church.
temporary. And then when the event was over, they said, now take it down. You said because of all the time you spent putting it together. You said, I would rather take a chance on taking it home. And you fool in your spirit. Anybody ever did one of them big puzzles? One of them big ones? I mean, like one of them. They brought 2,000 piece puzzles. Yeah. Yeah. Took you two months to do it. Yeah. You finally put the idea at the whole dining table. Mm -hmm. you like, you're like, look at that. And then Mama came home and said, get that off my table. <laughs> you're like, wait a minute. Hold up, wait, hold up, hold up. Come on, go tell me. Wait a minute. This took me two months to do this. She said, I don't care. Take it or lose. Oh, no. But see, what this. If I spend my good time in prayer,
Watch this now. Look at me. When you spend time in prayer, prayer makes you bold enough to say what needs to be said when the faith is in your life. I said, when you spend time in prayer, prayer makes you bold enough to say what you need to say when the faith is up in your life. I said, when you spend time in the prayer, prayer makes you bold enough to say what needs to be said for the mountain in your life. What is wrong? Many of us, the devil, had that mountain had us, us running scared. Because the devil gives us a bad report, we are more afraid of the report than to put the word of God on that report. See this man, whosoever shall, come on class, say it. Somebody shall say it, say it, say it, say it. He said, whosoever shall say to this mountain. Watch this now. He said, you tell the mountain, be the moon. All right, all right. Watch this. Not just go, but tell it where to go. All right. Now, you saying, Pastor, sorry, there are no mountains in Chicago. You are absolutely right. But there are some mountains in our own individual lives. Now watch this. Notice in your in the text what Jesus did not say. He did not name a particular mountain. And so whatever mountain that you are facing, if you talk to that particular mountain, it must go. But here's our challenge. There's no confidence in us to talk to it because we have spent all this other time, watch this now, embracing it. Because prayer gives me an insight that I would not have received had I spent my good time in prayer. See, what's the The only reason a stronghold remains a stronghold is because some folk like having a stronghold. Okay, what's this? I said, what's this? Sometimes a stronghold feels good. All right, all right, all right now. Sometimes in some strongholds we find pleasure. And some strongholds, we have because cause that stronghold gives us the the uh, attention that we need. All right, all right, all right, all right. Listen, if you are a woman who has no esteem, you don't sell for anybody's attention. All right, all right, all right. Yes, sir. It can be love man, it can be Pac-Man, Batman, you don't care who it is. Just be a man. And for some folks, they can be a sheep, act like a man. All right, now. Then come and go there and get out here. Come on, somebody. Uh, let's hold on a second. Uh, what's this? Then he says, You tell it to be the earth move and be captain to the sea. Watch this now. But shall not doubt in his heart. Watch this. Your emotions may be shaken. What keeps you stable is prayer. Prayer gives you a confidence when it looks impossible. Come on, prayer. Prayer gives you a confidence when the thing you pray about looks impossible. Shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that all things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have, come on, whatsoever he said. And I'll finish with it, folks. Give me some, I'm finished with it. Watch this, watch this. Then he says, therefore, I say unto you. Uh-huh. Watch this now. Whatsoever things you desire, from that position of prayer, yeah. in prayer belief, in prayer belief, uh-huh. in prayer belief, uh-huh. in prayer belief, yeah. in prayer belief you receive. Uh-huh. Yes. Look at family. Don't skip over it. In prayer, believe right. right. that you receive. Right. How long do I pray that the Lord takes? Yeah. What's the difference? I promise I'm through. Don't put a time limit on prayer. When you're praying, when you pray, believe you receive when you pray. Yes. Pastor, how do I believe that I receive when I pray? First, spend time in prayer. All right, all right. Spend time talking to God. Spend time communing with God. 
Spend time fellowship with God. Spend time just telling God how good He is. Watch this. If any of you all ever spent time telling somebody how good they were, they tell when you ask them for a favor, they did the thing for you anyway. Right. Right. Now, you know, you can't pull the wool over God's eyes. Right. But imagine how happy you and I would make God by simply spending time with Him. All right. All right. If you and I would simply invest our time spending time with Him. All right. oh, yeah. And when you and I start praying the Word, as we begin to pray God's Word back to Him, Imagine tell me how good that makes God feel. But now watch this. When I pray the word, see, praising will spend time in prayer and praise in the word. First of all, we are putting God in remembrance of what he's already told us. But praying the word gives us a visualization of the things that we're praying for. But when I'm praying the word, not just asking, but praying the word. No, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. When I spend time in the word, praying the word to God, and I tell God what he says to me. When I'm in the midst of prayer, I pray to him. Now I have a confidence that God's going to do what I ask him to do. Watch this. Let's say your body has been attacked with, with the enemy or with anything, whatever. Spend time praying to God. I thank you that I've been healed already. Yes, I'm praying to God. I thank you because your word says that by your spite, I'm healed. Yeah. What is Do not ask him yet. You can be praise him because he sent you something. Now, your mind is the image of your body being healed. Now, by the time you move to pray, Father, in Jesus' name, I ask you according to your word to heal my body. You already invested so much time putting in the man on the healing that you're now that when you pray for it, you already see the healing before it actually manifests in your life. Are you following? Now, when you pray a prayer of believing, God says, I'm going to do it. Because you're actually all right, all right, all right. So what's wrong? Most folks may pray. They really don't pray a believing prayer. They pray that they can say, I told God, and when God's going to answer, they can say, Well, I guess God ain't going to do it. All right, all right. But see, do your part. All right. Come on, man, do your part. All right. Come on, for his presence in your prayer time. Yeah. Before I ask for anything, get him glory for the things he's already ready to to be told you he's done so many things for us. See, look at this. I heard what I have to say. He said, we spend more time thanking God for the things that we see. But if you want to get more, thank him for the things you don't see yet. Come on. Think about it. If I spend my time in prayer just thanking him for the things that I want him to do, well, how about for the things he's kept the devil from doing to you? And this cat was, he was putting on he was, he was hitting one, hitting another one, hitting one, hitting another one. And I said, Lord, this man does not already have cancer. He was thinking that he don't have it. All right now. Yeah. All right. All right. Because watch this. It is easy for us to say what we don't have. When I put that it was God who kept us from getting it. Let me see, like I said, look at this. Some of you all, you were younger, who have lifestyles full of promiscuity. Other words, you didn't find nobody you didn't like. It's good that God didn't let you catch nothing. Come on. I know a boy who died by this open sex, it was a kiss. All right, all right now. He caught a man's from kissing. Right. He caught bacteria from his, from his girl who, who had it. He caught it and the boy flesh uh, from the inside out. Right. He started out, the boy lost his fingers. Right. Then he lost his toes. Right. Then his arms. Then his legs. Then he died. Watch this. The 
over and kick the whole person. All right, now. Come on. All right. All right. You know what? What's going to get on these young people? Come on. Fight! 
give you all. Let's learn to, to spend time in prayer. Now, I'm not through. I'm going to just quit. Because my time is all gone. But I want to encourage you to engage you. That every day, spend time, spend quality time in prayer. Listen, maybe you can't spend an hour in prayer. I don't expect you to. But give them five minutes. A lifestyle of prayer. Five minutes here. At lunchtime, give them five minutes before you eat the lunch. Give them before you eat. Give them five minutes. Give them five minutes. Before you go to bed, read the scripture. And then pray. And then go to bed. I guarantee you, get a calm your spirit down. All you folks in Babylon, confess the word. God, you say in the word. And you give us sweet rest. You come to give us sweet sleep. And take that word and confess it. And then start thinking of a sweet sleep. And then go to bed. Man, it's, it's better than anything. That's what we have to Come on. And we're out like a light. Amen, somebody. Come on, listen. Listen. You know that you can take your baby every night. You a cup of water and a piece of crack or something. Say, Father, this is my communion. I decree that while I'm asleep, my body is rejuvenating itself. I am being healed because you said that by your strength, in your blood, in your body. Take it, go to sleep. Men, men, and what, what's not made in the morning, get up and try to do what you couldn't do the next day. Pastor, what if I, I can't do it? The next day, we're going to be able to do it. And do it again. Come on. Don't let the devil work harder on you than you work on, on him. Come on, that's about it. And you speak the word of God over your own life. But these things you all have it in prayer. Amen. Amen. You all blessed today. Amen. Amen. Amen.